Hello friends and fans, this is Thomas Toy 2000 here, and I'm back with a brand new video for you today. And as you can see before you, I have three boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh cards to open up. Yes, these include Speed Duel, Arena of Lost Souls. I can't wait to get into this one. But first things first, we have not one, but two copies of Legendary Collection number one to open up. Now why do I have Two copies of this box, you might be asking? Well, it's not for the Egyptian God cards. Because I already have quite a few of them. No, the main reason is the packs on the inside. Yes, the six packs on the inside are really rare and hard to find these days. Although, I have found a couple of them at Walmart. But there was a minimum amount. Yeah, so... <laughs> hey, any chance I can get to grab any of the legendary card packs from before I'll take it especially if it means getting two copies of the box yep also apologies in advance that this video goes over 46 minutes long and it suddenly cuts out uh, turns out my camera won't let me film past 46 minutes 19 seconds <laughs> strange I know but it's true it's true also apologies in advance as well if the picture starts going hazy on you um, something's gone screwed with my camera. I gotta find out what's going on. Hopefully I don't have to replace it. I like this camera. I've been using it for quite a few years now. Yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's have a look at the Legendary Collection box. I'm gonna set the camera down right here on my controller. Hopefully it'll stay in place. Um, a little bit crooked, but I think that'll be alright. And now let's have a good look at the box. Now the front of the box shows the three main cards you can get in this collection. Slifer, the Sky Dragon, Obelus, the Tormentor, and the Winged Dragon of Raw. Now I will confess I do have multiple copies of the God cards. I've got the three God cards from the original three pack from the... Oh, gosh darn it, what was the game's name again? I forget. But either way, I managed to get the God cards at separate times. Slifer was first, then I got Obelisk and Raw much later. I think around 2013. Then of course I got the Winged Dragon of Raw from the Xbox game, uh, Dawn of Destiny I think it was called. And I got Obelisk the Tormentor from a Shaolin Jump magazine. Yeah, can you believe it? And before you guys ask, yes I do have two of the God cards from the Wrath of the Giants packs, namely Slifer and Raw. I never was able to find Obelisk. I truth be told, they're in my Six Samurai deck. <laughs> no reason. Just thought it'd be fun. But yeah, I do have multiple copies. And plus, I got this set of Egyptian God cards, well, another set, in the binder with my current collection of brand new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So all these are just going to be duplicates, but hopefully not the packs on the inside. One can only hope. One can only hope. Anyways, now you've seen the front. Let's have a good look at the side. Nothing really too interesting to look at. But then you get this on the back, which looks really nice. And it says up here, even though you can't see it that well, Treasures of the Pharaoh from the Dawn of Dueling. And it includes one of these, a game board, which features the God cards on one side, as well as Joey, Yugi, and Kaiba on the other side. And of course, like I said, it has the three Egyptian God cards in there. Plus, it has Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's always been my favorite dragon. And there are the six packs on the inside. And remember, I got two of these boxes, so that means I'll be opening up two pairs of each pack. Whereas Speed Duel, well, let's see how many there are. Oh, 36 car, or 36 packs per box. <laughs> yeah, I just had to look at it for a minute. Yeah. So yeah, pretty nice box art on the back. I've got a few of these already, not just from Legendary Collection number one, but also from... Uh, Legendary Collection number three from years ago and number four. I think number four is where I stopped. Um, 
I think there's a number five and a number six, but I'm not entirely sure. So don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. Unless you guys know. <laughs> and if there is, let me know, okay? Anyways, um, that's enough chit-chat. Let's open up this one. I got my scissors on standby just in case. Hmm, how do I open this? Oh, from the top, I guess. Hmm. Well, so far, picture's still crystal clear. That's good. Uh, when I did my last review video, it wasn't. Well, except towards the... Well, the middle part was hazy, I think. And then, towards the end, it got better. Don't ask me how. Ah, oh, jeez. This box is a nightmare to open up. Here we go. And I'm not going to go super crazy again with Yu-Gi-Oh cards like I used to. <laughs> no way. I'm just doing this for fun now. And whenever I feel like it. Anyways, let's open up the box, shall we? All right. Now that I got the lid off, I'm trying to find a spot for it. There we go. We can see on the inside, we got all the packs. Plus the limited edition cards. And for your interest's sake... Let's have a look at those legendary limited editions, shall we? This is so fun. All right. And I wish I had a garbage bag around here. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I'll just put them to the side. Okay, so here are the legendary cards. We've got Obelisk the Tormentor. The first of the Egyptian gods to be introduced in the anime series. Then, it was Slifer the Sky Trigon. <laughs> and then the most fearsome of them all. The Winged Dragon of Ra. <laughs> Ra was my only god card for a long time when I started looking for these cards. <laughs> but then the others came along. Yep. The others came along, and now they're in my collection. There's Blue Eyes White Dragon. Looks very nice. I prefer this one and the original first edition compared to the second edition, which is the most common version of Blue Eyes out there. And there's Dark Magician. Very nice. And then, of course, the fearsome Red Eyes Black Dragon. Joey's card, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a Red Eyes in the... Uh, other pack. Yeah, yeah, I did. Several of them, actually. <laughs> so, those are the god cards. I'm putting them off to the side on the tracks out of the way. And now, let's have a look at the packs. We've got Pharaoh's Servant. Alright. Let's hope for some holographics. Alright. You know what? You want a second. Found a garbage bag. All right, so let's see what we got here. Whoa! Beasts of Tower? Huh. This was always one of the cards I wanted to get. Now it's here and in perfect mint condition. Wow, not bad for the first pack out of this box. Hmm. Very nice. I definitely don't have it in the newer collection. Um, I really don't know if I have it in the old one. I'll have to look after this video. I'll let you know in the comment section. Alright, next up is the very first one. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. From the Duelist Kingdom years. Alright, here we go. These ones are easy to open up. Come here, garbage bag. Thank you. All right. So let's see what we got. Armed Ninja. I guess that's our rare card for this pack. Oh, well. Maybe the other one's got a piece of Exodia. I believe that's what this pack always had. was Exodia cards. Next up, we have 
Duel Crisis for the Battle City years. Alright. Okay, here we go. Ah, I never liked this monster. I think my opponents always use that monster against me. Whoa! Different Dimension Dragon? I honestly have never seen this card before. Have you guys? There's the info in case you want to see what it then do. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it up here. Pretty cool. Contract with Exodia. Yeah, there's an Exodia Necros within this pack. Well, not this series. Maybe in the next one. <laughs> you never know. You never know. And by the way, I'm moving Beast of Talwar to the top of that uh, uh, series of cards. Yeah, because you never know. Anyways, here is Metal Raiders. I have found multiple packs like this from Walmart. And only once have I found... A holographic card. Karibo. But let's see if we can find Gate Guardian or any of the pieces within this pack. I don't know. I know Gate Guardian was in this pack. Somewhere. Harpy Lady. Nope. Can Soldier is our rare card. Oh, there's Gazelle. One of Yugi's cards. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, well, not too bad. Not too bad so far. Next up, we have Invasion of Chaos. Yeah. Invasion of Chaos. There are three particular monsters I'm looking for. I don't remember their names, but I know I'm looking for them. Okay, we got Chaos Sorcerer. Not bad. Whoa. Okay, that's our holographic DD scout plane. There's the info in case you guys want to read it. <laughs> nice. Pretty cool. All right. So we got a holographic there. And now for the last pack of this box. It's spell roller. It used to be magic roller, but after the cards were changed over to spell, well. The name was changed. So, not too bad. I should admit, too, that with the Feral Servant Pack years ago, I got one as a Christmas gift from my uncle, and inside was Jinzo. Mm-hmm. If you guys know Jinzo, then I know you'll be screaming at your screens. Yep. Nope. No holographics in here. Yet. Still not too bad. Not too bad. And definitely put those cards away with the uh, the other ones I have. All right, that's it for that box. Um, nothing on the screen at the moment. Let's bring the box to the side. And I'm going to bring over the other legendary collection, number one, and open it up. Uh, where are my scissors? God, I misplaced my scissors. Gosh darn it. Ah, here we go. Yeah, and remember kids, always let a grown-up use scissors. Plastic, this stuff. All right, should make it a little bit easier to open up now. I'm not going to open up the limited edition pack on camera again because I already did that once. But um, at least you guys know there's another set of god cards in here. Yeah. And I'm trying to put the darn plastic into the garbage bag. Okay, we're opening it up. And I can already see the other packs, including more God cards. <laughs> Always cool. And now, here's another Feral Servant. Yeah. Here we go. Monster Recovery. <laughs> Not bad. You can already tell there's a few cards I can add into my 
binder. Let's see, where was Feral Servant? Oh, here we go. Okay, so the only rare cards that we got, well, holographic cards from Feral Servant, is Beast of Talwar. Oh, well, not too bad. Not too bad. And like I said before, these packs are very rare and hard to find, so... Honestly, I don't mind. I don't mind. Alright, so from Legend of Blue Eyes... Let's see what we get. Flower Wolf. Okay, so definitely no holographics from this pack yet. Uh, oh well. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oof. Come on, cards. Don't fall over. Stay on the tracks. Okay, next up, we have Dark Crisis again. We got a Skull Archfiend of Lightning from this pack. When I tried to do the review video last time, but that didn't work out. So, let's see if we get lucky. Nope. No holographics this time. Hmm. Cyber Raider. Yeah, I don't know if I like that card or not. Not entirely sure. Okay, so from this pack, our only holographic is Different Dimension Dragon. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Next up is Metal Raiders. Okay. Come on, pack. Show me what you got. Magician of Faith. Hmm. Okay, so no holographics again. I think that pack was always notorious for... Uh, the difficulty of finding, you know, holographic cards. I think. I'm not entirely sure. It actually came out before I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! I got in around the time of, um... Um... I'm trying to remember that darn pack's name. Legacy of Darkness, I think it was called? Anyway. Here's Invasion of Chaos cards. Hmm... Oh well, we still got a holographic, nonetheless. DD Scout Plane. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, next up, Spell Ruler. Maybe we'll get lucky with this pack. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Oh, here we go. Huh? That's odd. It's a holographic. Oh, and we also got Cyber Jar. So that's unique. Hmm. I don't know if you would call this holographic or not, but, um... Well, it is. Okay. So that's definitely unique. Hmm. Oh, we got Hamburger Recipe, and we got Hungry Burger. <laughs> Weird card. All right. So that's the Legendary Collection. So, overall, we got some very nice cards in the mix. Including, yet again, another set of Egyptian God cards. Yeah. Alright, now that's been done, let's focus on the Speed Duel Packs. This is the one I got from the Chat Noir Bookstore. Yeah. I think... Yeah, when I went to buy three of my books that I ordered. Yeah. I just saw it and I thought, okay, better grab another one. Because who knows? If everybody liked it, maybe they'll like seeing another one. Who knows? Anyways, I'm going to cut the plastic a little bit so I can finally get into it. Because I think last time it was a struggle. Now, let's see. Where to begin cutting? Ah, here we go. Now I can do this properly on screen. All right. So I'll get this out of the way. And now, let's open up the box. There's only four cards per pack, but that's okay. That's perfectly okay. 
and here they are. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Really awesome. All right. So I don't know what to expect out of this pack. So let's just crack into them and find out what we've got. All right. Okay, so our four cards. Jack's Knight. Oh, and look at that. It's a Speed Duel on there. Huh. Never noticed that before. That's a first. Hmm. Interesting. Not one of them's holographic. And there's definitely no, um... Silver cards, as I call them. All right. Well, let's just see what the rest of this pack has to offer, shall we? Okay. Magicians Unite. And another D-Spell. Okay, I can tell I'm already going to get a few holographics. But then again, I did get a full box, so that's understandable. Hmm. All right. Clown zombie. Oh, here we go. There's a holographic. Sanji of the Thousand Hands. Okay. So, I'm going to put my non-holographic speed duel cards over here. And the holographic ones are going to go over here to the side. <laughs> okay, so that's one so far. Let's see what else this box of cards has to offer. Hmm. Never heard of this card before. There's the info in case you guys want to read it. Hmm. Interesting. Whoop. Jeez, I dropped my cards. Dang it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I had not planned on that. Oh well. <clears throat> Accidents do happen every now and then. Alright. Next up. These are seriously cool. Reminds me why I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! in the first place. Queen's Knight. Alright. Okay, so I got Queen's Knight and Jack's Knight. Probably gonna find King's Knight in here somewhere. Who knows? Ugh. Honestly, I don't even know if I have those cards in my old collection. If I did, I probably lost them. Unless they were holographic. Another Queen's Knight. Okay, so... Only one holographic thus far. Let's see what the rest offer. Harpy's Pet Dragon. Hmm. One of my cards. So not bad so far. Fusion wave motion. Hmm. I honestly don't know how many cards are in this series. So, probably towards the end, we're going to have plenty of duplicates. But then again, you never know. You honestly never know. Block attack. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting card. I think that was used in the show. I'm not entirely sure. Whoa. Whoa now. What the heck? Skill card? I've never heard of one of these before. Hmm. 
straight to the grave. Hmm. Must be one of these Speed Duel specialty cards. Huh. All right. Well, that's an interesting one. Okay, and what are our other three? Not bad. I guess that's why it's called Speed Duel. Hmm. I don't think you be ever dual bones. No, no, that's right. Joey did. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I remember to do this on camera. So that way you guys are not missing out on the fun. All right. Half shot. I've never heard of that card before. Hmm. Interesting. Another shield and sword. Oh well. Not too bad. Not too bad. A lot of holographics in this pack. <laughs> I can already tell I'm getting a few duplicates. Still not too bad so far. And again, guys, if you want to see my binder of my current collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, as well as my old holographics, just let me know. Okay, I think we're now getting into our duplicates. Aw, oh, man. I think we found every common card there is. So, all that's left, really, is to find the rare ones. Oh, here we go. King of the Skull Servants. Hmm. All right. So another holographic. Not too bad. I'm going to put these over here for now. Don't want to make it too difficult for myself later. Because I'm going to be putting the cards in the binders off camera. I know, probably in the future, if I do get another box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, it'll probably be one of the normal nine-pack ones. Oh, hold on. Huh. Another one of these cards. Hmm. All right, and our card is... Tomb of the Pharaoh. Hmm. Quite interesting. All right. Buster Blader. Awesome card. I'm actually going to put it over here. I've always liked Buster Blader. And you combine it with Dark Magician, then yeah, you've got Dark Paladin, which I do have, actually, in my original holographics collection. And there's Jack's Knight, Buster Blader. Hmm. Yeah, not too much from this pack, but, oh well, oh, whoa, spoke too soon. Ah, uh, there he is, the king of games himself, Yugi, or better known as Atem, the Pharaoh. All right, so what's your card? Royal Flush. Hmm. Can you guys read the info? Huh. Interesting. So, Yugi is on one of the Speed Duel cards. Huh. Before we move on to those packs, let's actually have a look at our holographics thus far. There's about five of them in total. And three of them are these Speed Duel cards. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up what Speed Dueling is all about. 
Honestly, never heard of it. Hmm. Not bad. Definitely gonna have to look through all these these cards and later to see which ones are duplicates and which ones are well new to my collection. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not doing this all the time, guys. So I don't know when the next set of Yu-Gi-Oh cards are going to be coming onto my channel. I honestly do not know. Wow. Really getting down there, aren't I? Isn't there a Dark Magician in here? Do not know. <laughs> Fail of Darkness. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And don't ask me how much a box of Yu-Gi-Oh cards is, because <laughs> I've forgotten the price. I've already bought two of them. This one and... Oh, I can't see the name of the other one. I got the box over there somewhere, but I turned it around. I don't know why. Velvet Crystal. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. Next. I don't think we're getting another one of those Speed Duel cards. But you never know. Okay, I think by now we're starting to get more and more into duplicates. So I think we've gone through pretty much all the comments. Who knows? Oh well. Whoa! Arcana Knight Joker! Oh, jeez, and look at those attack points! That's more than enough to wipe out a blue eyes white dragon! Hmm. Hey, Kaiba, you better watch out, because if this monster gets on the field, <laughs> you're in trouble. He would need Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to save him. Alright. So not too bad. Not too bad. I think that's the main monster back there with Yugi. Oop, another holographic duplicate. Well, the first of this. First duplicate holographic from this pack. But it's happened to me before with Joey's cards. Alright. What do we got? The Queen's Knight. Still haven't found King's Knight. Alright, how many more do we have? Four. Okay. Four more. That's all there is. Not too bad. Not too bad. Whoa! Sword of Dragon Soul. Pretty cool. Alright. 
So we got another holographic from this series. Not too bad. Okay. Two more left. <laughs> Seriously, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon? I was not expecting this card in this pack. Huh. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Takes three blue eyes to make it. It's one of Kaiba's cards. Can't believe one of Kaiba's cards made into Yugi's packs. Hmm. I wonder if one of the other rare holographics is a blue eyes white dragon. Who knows? All right. So our last pack. Let's see what we get. Still blown away by Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon being in this one. Jeez Louise. And that's it. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. Can't complain. These are pretty good cards. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I bought most recently. Which includes the Speed Duel cards. Here, let's have a look at them together. Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon, Sword of Dragon Soul, Arcana Knight, Joker, Royal Flash. You know what Tomb of the Pharaoh. King of the Skull Servants. Straight to the Grave. And... Sanji of the Thousand Hands. So, in total, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Only eight holographics from all those packs of 36. I don't know whether to be impressed or kind of annoyed by that. Well, nine if you include that duplicate. But, nonetheless, it's still a win to me. As for the original card packs, honestly, I was not expecting to find Beast of Tower. That was amazing. And Different Dimension Dragon. That's a pretty cool card. And DD Scout Plane. And of course, having these copies of the God cards and the legendary monsters themselves. But of course, like I said, I have them in the binder already. So these are just duplicates. Don't worry, I'll protect them. I'll protect them. But what am I going to do with them? I don't know. I'll find some use for them. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, there's plenty more coming soon, including more narrations from yours truly. And, of course, I'm going to be bringing you all the videos of my trip down south. But when will those come out? Hopefully sometime after I get back from my trip. Not during the trip but afterwards. And if at all possible, maybe I'll grab some Yu-Gi-Oh cards while I'm down there. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see to find out. But until then, thanks for watching everyone. I'm Thomas Zoe 3000 and I'm signing off.